Eddie Mae Muffers here coming to you live and I'm out here at the beautiful beach. I'm so happy. You know what I like about here? I come out here and it don't cost me nothing. It's free. The good Lord provides this. You know it says he rain on the just and the unjust. And I, I guess I'm just, but you never know. But it don't matter. He provides this for everybody. So y'all ought to come out and appreciate it. Why not? And you know something? I'm so excited. I get a lot of notes and messages from my friends on, on the Twitter, which called Twi Twitter and the Facebook and poking you, poke you back, and letters in the mail even. I got a nice note from a young fella named John. Here it is. He wrote me a question. You know, you can write me a question anytime time you get ready. He said, Dear Eddie Mae Murphys, I like you. I like you too, John. But you know, I go to church and I get so tired of the preacher up there preaching and asking me for money all the time. Why do they do that? I don't think that's right and I don't think I'm going to church no more. What do you think and what does the Bible say? Well, John, I tell you, don't you stop going to church on the count of that, because I tell you something. It's right there in the Bible. It says it right here that you're supposed to give some money to the church. It ain't about begging or nothing, but think about it. You walk into the church, it ain't like you're going to Janet Jackson concert with the red rope and they don't let you in unless you get some money. No, it's for free. And when you leave, they don't give you a bill like that until you get out your credit card. They don't do that. But you're supposed to give your money, some of your money, to the good Lord out of appreciation. It's right there, you get 10%. So if you ain't got but $10, you could give $1 to the church. You got $100,000, guess what? You can get 10,000, you still got 99 to play with. What's wrong with that? So I tell you, it's right here, and the good Lord will take care of you, guaranteed, he promised that. Press down, running over, Flow, flow, I know it says something about that in there. And it also says his seed ain't never gonna go hungry begging for bread. Look at me. I'm an old lady, but I ain't never been hungry. Does I look like I'm hungry? Well, you know what? I do get hungry. But I don't go, you know, look at they got seagulls and pelicans and everything out there. You ain't supposed to eat that. The Bible said don't eat them. But you guess what? I get hungry. You get my pocketbook, and I go on out to the supermarket, I get what I need, because I'm taken care of. I'm a rich woman, it's because of the Lord. So do what the Bible said, keep going to church, pay your tithe, and you won't ever regret it, and the rest will be history. I'm going to go look at the pelican, but then I'm going to buy me a chicken. Fry it up real good. I'm a rich woman. I ain't never been begging for bread.